Welcome back guys, let's continue and finish off the death of chivalry. Sorry for the previous delay. This time we'll take some time, go through the law, go through the um, notes and whatnot. Uh, return to the ritual chamber? No. So I'm gonna walk through again because I kind of I feel like I blitzed through it and I missed some of the, the law stuff. So I want to read through that and go through all that again before we fight Fern. Um, I'm pretty sure I can just walk through if there are any troubles here. Nice, thank you. Uh, do we want to like further kind of walk around? Because this was a pretty cool quest, but I think there isn't much else to it. Uh, upstairs. Hopefully we can just walk right through as we did. What happens if I talk to one of these slaves? Yeah, I'll perform me carry on slave. Okay, it's just a lot of disciplinary stuff, nothing. Law wise, yeah, no. Oh, there's a bank there, storage. I think there was a book as well that I want to get that I want to read through again. Actually, it was like the um, if I can find it. Ah, oh, yeah, this was the ritual ceremony. What happens if I talk to him again? I will be watching you, Captain. Right, okay, he's suspicious. There was a bookcase somewhere. The grimoire was the grimoire. The handwritten message we read, and your best mentor, that's what's enriched your tomb. Tell us some no one predicted of your lives, and you can give us. I don't want you to have to stay rich, but ah, oh, yeah. And then we've got this. Oh, yeah, the journal that was locked, right. But there was a. There was another one. It was like something of the Kinshra. I picked it up from a bookcase, so downstairs. It was like a really long book, I want to read it. To see if it's at least interesting. I think we picked it up at the start, maybe. It's like a bookcase somewhere. I think. Is it in here, maybe? wasn't on these, was it? No, it's the Black Knights. Where Inspect Tapestry? Man, where did I pick it up from? I'm down ladder. Oh, what's down there actually? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. What is, what's, hold the phone. Oh, it's a members. Okay, never mind. Um, uh, hmm. Okay, I don't know. Alright, well, I guess it might be on the second level. I do, I do want to read that book. Double checking. Laws. Oh, hold on. Touch Iron Maiden, maybe? Okay, yeah. As expected, we took that one damage. Very nice. Forgive me for bothering you, Captain Dalton. Yeah, you better be... Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, okay, hmm. Alright, so let's look for like a bookcase or a bookshelf. Oh wait, let's not go back there just yet, because that's where the um, monastery thing is. Oh, here we go. Examine shelf, maybe? Yeah. Plates and... Got some gold. Peeps, man, it was a book of the Kinshra. I wonder if I can maybe in here. Hey, I saw something. Push, no, be in this room. Hey, oh, there's someone in here. I might come back for them because I had to drop it last time. Keep your hands off my person. Because I didn't have room. Oh, here we go. Maybe here. Uh, when I was fighting, what's her face? Burn. I can't dedicate these guys. I, I love it. Pray at Zamorak Altar. Man, where did I get it from? Pretty annoying. Anyways, I guess we might just have to. To get the book. Unless it's here, hold on. Oh, here we go. 
A slim volume of the Kinshu history. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's really long. This work is an attempt to archive and catalogue the early history of the Order of the Kinshra. Their early days have largely been forgotten in favour of the better rivalry between the Kinshra and the White Knights of Falador. Okay, so these are the White Knights and I guess the Zam these guys that are with now, they have a rivalry. By searching through city archives, interviewing, interviewing veteran White Knights and Kinshra soldiers and reviewing what little historical texts do you offer on impactful events, I have attempted to create a near-complete account of the Order's Dawn. It is the author's hope that this text may remind the reader how this often misunderstood order of knights forged the kingdom of Asgardia we know today. Paul Scient on the commission of, commission of Lord Dequarius Renard. Chapter 1. Buckle up guys, we're going to be here for a while. To understand the origin of the Kintra, one must be familiar with the time in which these events took place. Nowadays, man lives in relative place without fear of a violent and sudden death. The fourth age, however, was different. Even though the gods had agreed many centuries ago to cease their wars for the sake of the world, the mortal races remained in bitter conflict. Each strove for superiority, for land and resources, with each side gaining no foothold over the other. The fighting seemed endless. It was the frenetic discovery of rune essence that changed this. The ability to carve rune stones, which had been lost for millennia, gained humans' advantage over other races. Using their magic, the humans claimed the lands for their own, ushering Gilanor into the Fifth Age, as Botulf proudly declared it, it was the Age of Man. The borders of the ancient realm of Mistilan expanded, and tribes of men, hungry folk sanctuary, readily pledged themselves to King Botulf Romanus of Barok. The tribes of the West, however, remained reluctant to sacrifice their independence. With no wizards of their own, they remained vulnerable to the other races. A small kingdom of a handful of villages had existed here for centuries, ruled at this time by King Rodalan of the Donblas tribe. It was, it was also home to an order of the White Knights, who acted as the guardians of the West against invading races. However, the protection they offered could not hope to equal that of Mistilan's many orders of mages. The knights attempted to persuade King Radalan to sacrifice their sovereignty and merge with Mistilan for protection, with the other races being driven out of, the, out of Mistilan and into lands of the western tribes. It appeared they had no choice. A, a death welcome. Indeed, all territory between the treacherous slopes of White Wolf Mountain and the sunny docks of Port Lina may well have been part of modern Mistilan, were it not for the events that followed. Chapter 3 Curiously enough, it was from Varrock that another option presented itself. Lord Valzin, a wealthy nobleman, saw opportunity in the chaos for the chance to forge a new kingdom for his favoured god, Zemarak. Zemarak. The orders of Magi at the time contained many dark wizards, also followers of the Lord of Chaos and Death. Here we go, now getting exciting. Although they were men of a very different type of lord, although they were men for men of a very different type from Lord Valzin, he managed to persuade them to help. Thus it was a man it was that a man of Varok delivered to King Radalan and the White Knights the means of retaining their independence. King Radalan was only one many tribal one of many tribal leaders, but Lord Valzin convinced him it was possible it was possible to unify the others. Radalan would be king not only of the Donblas, but also of the lands west of the Lum and the men within them. Chapter 4 Supposedly, even when the White Knights held suspicion of Lord Vel's proposal, Radalan decided to accept the nobleman's offer and began unifying the smaller tribes and settlements, even guided by Valzen. Soon the western tribes, with the Dark Wizard's help, moved to, moved to expand the domain and overpower the other races. As King Radalan and his kingdom grew in influence, so too did Lord Valzen. Four years into the new age, the day came that the nobleman persuaded Raladin to allow him to form his own order of warriors, so that Lord Valzin could better aid the expansion of their kingdom. Valzin argued that faith was creating was a great motivator. What did I create him from? Valzin argued that faith was a great motivator in creating effective warriors. The White Knights of Saradomen were an excellent example, but devoting another order to Saradomen would be erring on the side of favoritism or erring. Instead, Lord Valzin, along with other men of wealth and power with whom he had secretly made deals, 
suggested to Radalan that these warriors should pledge fealty to another god, Zamorak. It was on this day that the Order of the Kinshra was founded. Right, so basically, Saradomen, White Knights, um, Kinshra, Black Knights, or Zamorak. Of chapter 5, from the onset, the White Knights were mistrustful of the Kinshra, whether due to conflicting religious sensibilities or a sense of entitlement over the Zamorakians, who traditionally came from working-class backgrounds. The reasons vary from account to account, but it was clear that irrespective of the exact motivation, it fostered a great rivalry between the two orders, although neither disclosed this fact to King Rudolin. Whatever the reason, both orders were distracted by their secret in 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 enmities and failed to notice a greater threat that was brewing beyond their borders. The human tribes had not only been, had been the only ones to unite under a common banner. Various non-human races joined forces to overcome this dilemma. They saw the orders of knights and considered their forming to be an act of aggression. They moved together in great force to eliminate mankind, to purge the humans from their lands, and hordes of creatures fell upon the human tribes. The white knights and the Kinshra, qu uh, quotation mark, dubbed black knights by some, the Kinshra disliked the term as it implied a connection to the white knights. They immediately set aside their differences and for the only known time in history formed an alliance in defense of their land. Many lives were lost in the bloody battles that ensued. But through an alliance of the orders of the knights' orders, many tribal war bands and the aid of the dark wizards managed to triumph. It was on this day, four years after the Kinshra's foundation, that As Asgarnia was established as a nation, with Radolin as its king. Its capital became Falador, one of the Dombla's humblest villages. Falador began to grow rapidly as both knightly orders made their homes there. Chapter six. True to their word, the Kinshra aided the expansion of the kingdom, and expand it did, even driving the mighty troll race into the mountains and subduing the numerous, numerous goblin colonies. While Asgarnia expanded, however, the relations between the white and black knights worsened. Only months later, the simmering tensions between the Kinshra and their Cerodominus counterparts boiled over. When matters could not have seemed worse, several Kinshra officers are said to have drunkenly torched the Saradominus chapel after a late night at the tavern. Lord Valzin was quick to disavow his errant warriors, yet, his, yet this did little to calm the White Knights. On the contrary, there were rumours that this act had been in retaliation for an earlier offence administered by the White Knights. Only King Radolin's interference averted outright civil war. It finally became clear to him that these two orders were vicious rivals, as both had done great things for the kingdom. However, R R Radolin refused to disband neither white nor black, and instead res resigned himself to the difficult and constant task of keeping the peace between the two. In the years that followed, the rivalry between the knights was the only threat the kingdom faced. Apart from the barbarian invasions from the west, therefore Lord Valzen was free to pursue his ambitions. Man, it's like giving you not only the c conflict between these two, but it's kind of expanding on the universe um, and and like the geography. It's, it's actually quite quite interesting. Um, as the years passed, the highest positions in the kingdom were own, were one by one filled by men recommended by him, men who happened to serve Zamorak. Okay, albeit secretly, he worked carefully, ensuring that progress would continue to be made, even when he had gone. Lord Valzen would see the rise of Zamorak's kingdom which he had sought to forge since the dawn of the new age. Okay. Chapter 7. In the seventieth year of the fifth age, disaster struck. The great tower of magic in the south of Mistelan was burnt to the ground. The incident was blamed on the dark wizards who were said to have attacked the tower. Oh, is this the mage tower? Um, Zemarikians from both Asgarnia and Mistelan preemptively defended their brethren's actions, but this served only to seal their fate across the continent. It was no longer safe to outwardly support Zamorak. While the order of the Dagon High was chased out of Varrock, Asgarnia once more found itself on the brink of civil war. This time, nothing the now elderly Lord Velzen could say or do would prove effective. Everything he had worked towards was now lost due to the alleged misdoings of another order that shared his faith. 
Elderly King Radolin, whom Velzen had helped achieve greatness, was pressured by his court. He could no longer keep the peace between the two orders. All of the Zamarukian officials within the king's court were outed, and the Kinshra themselves were forced to leave the city. So far, I'm on the side of the Kinshra just quietly. Early up my alley. Chapter 8 By this time, Asgarni's border had extend, extended so far as to claim Ice Mountain and the surrounding lands. Lord Valzen led a perilous march to his private mansion on the lower slopes of the mountain. Lord Valzen now commanded that his mansion be fortified to double as private residence and new headquarters for the Kinshra. Through back channels avoiding knowledge of his court, King Radolin provided gold and resources for the construction process um, worked progress work progress quickly. Whereas the mansion gained strength each day, Lord Valzen's health declined, and he was already a remarkably advanced and he was already of a remarkably advanced age. Some rumoured that his longevity was a gift from Zamorak. Ah, yes, some sacrifice action, maybe? Others suspect, suspect the dark rituals had been the cause. Yeah, exactly. Nonetheless, the fact that had befallen his order due to the destruction of the Wizard Tower plunged the ancient lord into illness. Within his now fortified manor, Lord Valzen passed away. The founder of the Kinshra, a man who had dedicated his home, finances, and the very lives of his family to Zamorak, was dead. In his last hours, however, the dying man seemed to experience a change of heart. He, ins he insisted the kinship be dissolved upon his, death, upon his death. His final words were instead in interpreted quite creatively to be a declaration that no man but himself should ever lead the order. Chapter 9 with the loss of Valzen's wealth and influence, the members of the Kinshra order, now leaderless and with bitterness in their hearts, declared that they would no longer recognize the legitimacy of King Radolin's government or his claim to the throne. It was their order who had truly built the nation, and they were its rightful rulers, and one day they would claim what was theirs by right. King Radolin looked darkly upon these words of treason, but left them unchallenged, out of respect for his late comrade. Oh well, that's it? Oh, no way. Is that really it? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, cool. All right, well, I'm, I'm definitely Team Kinshra. Like, just quietly. Team Kinshra all the way. Team Kinshra all the way. Um, okay, let's have a look at these. Investigate these. Like, I really want to soak in this quest and, like, go back over it um, because this is, these are the kind of, like, this is the kind of law or, or you know, or the factions or the, um, the what you might call it, the, the setting that I'm all about. I find this sort of stuff interesting. Um, a lot more than, for example, I don't know, like the Mage Tower stuff, which I was trying so hard to get through. Um, oh, search desk. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, slow down, slow down, slow down. Where are you going? Where are you going? Um, might as well go in here. Yeah. Search captain's bed. Hidden under bed, you find it somewhat of bleached human bones. Uh, examine the bones more closely. The bones are eerily clean and brightly polished. Most likely the flesh was dissolved with some kind of acid. Wow. Uh, count the bones. There are almost enough bones to count for a single human body. Notably the skull is missing. Leave the bones alone. Wow, okay. Um, suit of armor. Well, this is clearly Dalton's bedroom. Ah, oh, yeah, well. Wow. Dalton literally hiding some skeletons in his within closet. I inspect dragon. The head of a fierce dragon stuffed and mounted on the wall is the same. All the same. I guess this like proves they were like dragon slayers or something. It's pretty badass. Alright, let's inspect this desk. You already have the journal from the desk? Ah, yes, I do. It's like trophy case. Several white knight helmets adorn the shelves. Presumably these are trophies of enemies that Captain Dalson defeated in battle. Yeah, that's staircase. Uh, can we go in here? This is where they train. Oh wait, let's go in here real quick. Are these anvils? Ooh, ooh, crack open safe. Ah, uh, members, feels bad. I wonder what it was. Because I don't think I'll come back here. Hold on, whoa, 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 oh, no. Wait, there's something there? That's oh, another safe. Okay, okay. Yeah, this must be the training area. Um, are these staircases the same? I hope they are. Curious. Okay, let's go. Okay, we'll try, we'll try, we'll try both. 
Alright, that leads to the portal. Let's see if that goes somewhere else. Mm, oh, no, it is different. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, this is quite it. It's quite it. Uh, actually, I have to play crab game as the update plans and that's oh, okay. Yeah, we will on probably on Thursday, man. Maybe um, we we'll get we we'll get community night back in action. Let me t talk with Seal, her crew, our crew. Um, I'll make it happen, bro. We'll make it happen for sure. And we can even do like proximity chat for everyone. So not Discord, but just people that we know. But proximity chat, you know what I mean, for more immersion and gameplay experience. Okay, it's nothing else here. Yeah, man, you can spread, you can spam, you can spread your bing chilling virus everywhere. All right, cool. I think we're just about. Let me just go on this side. It's really cool though. I do like this, man. Ah, oh, yeah, and the portal's even on that side. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, let's go back then. No. I brought plenty of food as well, I've got some pies. And then I've got better armor, I've got better weapons. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but while off stream I've got to iron one. Um iron plus one. I mean sorry, steel uh, weapons and steel plus one armor. Okay, Lecta, we did this stuff. Uh place the Grimoire back on the Lecta, leave it alone. Bank chest herself. I don't need any more chalk, wardrobe, search wardrobe, in, in the pocket of black and you find a letter, the wax has been, oh, okay, hold on. Uh, Lensing, I recommend you Captain Delson as we agreed, he'll provide whatever supplies you need necessary, I've ensured that he will extend your, extend your every courtesy, he suspects nothing, strength through chaos, my witch lord, the Quarius. okay, I think we read this already, so let's just check this out. Uh, Box of candles. Any animal candles? Like the okay, it's it's good. Let's go inside. Inside the portal. So I wonder. I think we spoke about everything with him. Just being in this room makes my skin crawl. Um, uh, tell him about yourself. I was born into the Sound family, a minor noble house in Falador. Okay. So you're Sir Owen Sond. I am indeed. I became a squire to the White Knights as a child, and through hard work and service to the Order, gained my knighthood when I came of age. Okay. As a junior White Knight, I joined their campaigns against the Kinshra. Hmm. I was part of the Dawn Ascent operation, and it was by my hand that the Black Knight Iban fell. You bust. I mean, yeah. Iban was a powerful warrior who trained under Lord Dakarius himself. Our orders were to capture him alive. Iban refused to yield. The White Knights were superior in numbers, and Ceramic, our leader, was overconfident. Iban slaughtered many good knights that day, and Ceramic continued to press the advance. I could not tolerate such needless bloodshed. While my companions fell to Iban's blade, I withdrew from the battle. Ignoring my commanding officer, I slipped into the shadows and found a vantage point high above the melee. Slipped into the shadows kind of sounds like a Kinshra move. I readied my bow, took aim, and put an arrow through the back of Iban's skull. Then that's how you were promoted to a temple knight? On the contrary, the white knights nearly dismissed me from their service. I was accused of cowardice. The white knights have a strict code of honor. Too strict for my life. Well, that's why you're a white knight, man. They eschew subterfuge in guerrilla warfare. Stew. To deceive an enemy is considered an act of cowardice and dishonor. Mm -hmm. I will use whatever methods necessary and make any sacrifice to fulfill my mission and protect my allies. Only a Sith deals in absolute. Fortunately, Sir Tiffy intervened and offered me a position with the Temple Knights. Who is Sir Tiffy? Certification is a retired adventurer who heads up recruitment for the Temple Knight organization. You can usually find him in Falador Park. 
Yeah, uh, where did you join the White Knight Order? I wanted to learn how to fight so I could protect Falador's people from those who threaten the peace. When I was young, my mother, Ultra, was uh, captured by a Kinshra raiding party. Of course. I tried to stand against them, but I was no match for trained knights. It is how I earned this scar. Stereo, my father, heard of the attack. But by the time he returned from court, the Black Knights had long since fled. I wanted my father to be angry, to blame me for the loss of his wife, my mother. Oh, wow, they killed her. Instead, there was only grief and sorrow in his eyes. And father has looked at me with disappointment ever since. Um, why do you follow Shadow Demon? Perhaps you're hoping I'll tell you of the time I witnessed a glorious miracle. Or that Saradomin came to me in a vision and assured me I had a great destiny to fulfill. It is none of these things. I believe in Saradomin's cause because he wishes the best for his people. Saradomin seeks to protect us from evil and yeah. for Gilenor to be a safe haven where we can live in peace and prosperity. Ideally, that is a good thing, but I don't know. I feel like Saradomin's got some other intentions. I to protect the innocent from those that would do us harm. He's almost got like Our these human weaknesses. Uh, if I to the innocent from those that would do us, our uh, freedom is worth fighting for. Um, tell me about the Temple Knights. The Temple Knights are an elite order of white knights founded by Saradomin himself in the Third Age. Okay. We are a covert division of the order, dedicated to defeating threats to peace and sovereignty. See. Temple Knight operatives are called in for missions involving espionage, surveillance, sabotage, or infiltration. Literally, wasn't that the whole point of Calvados? So get all the best magical gadgets. Right. I want to talk about something else. Uh, about our mission. Who are the Kinshra? We already know. Tell me about the Black Knight's Fortress. I mean, the Kinshra are a Zamorakian military order of Black Knights. They have a long-standing enmity with the White Knights of Falador. The Kinshra were banished from Asgarnia a few years ago, but they maintain several well-defended bases on the outskirts of the kingdom. It is a well-defended Kinshra stronghold on the outskirts of Asgarnia. The Black Knights built the fortress upon Ice Mountain around the same time as the White Knights constructed Falador Castle. Mm. Since then, the Kinshra have established other outposts across Gilanor. Um, what do you know of Captain Dolson? He is a descendant of Lord Shadwell. His last surviving relative, so I've heard. Isn't that the guy I'm impersonating right now? That likely explains why Captain Dolson has a relatively low military rank, yet maintains control of the Black Knight's fortress. Lord Shadwell's reign ended in year 163 of the Fifth Age. He was succeeded by Lord Milton, and then shortly after by Lord Sula in year 164. Man. Lord Dakarius is the current leader of the Black Knights. Lord Dakarius. Man, there's a lot of law. I've heard that in Lord Dakarius does not think fondly of Dulcin, but tolerates him due to his family ties. Um, why are you acting on blind faith? I thought of something else. Never mind. Okay, cool. Let's go. Um, are you ready to enter? Yes. No. Yeah, this is basically more or less where we left off. Oh, wait, what? No, 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 no. What the hell? I don't want to fight. Not just yet. Hold on. Hold the phone. I want to go to the start and just kind of just re walk through. Examine things as they were. Alright, here we go. Okay, here we go. Um open frozen door. We shan't shift that debris. We have no choice but to go deeper into the tomb. Reminds me, hold on, let me just make sure the audio is out for voice. Um alright, cool. It grieves me to battle one who gave her life for Saradomin's cause, but we must complete our mission. To arms! That's right, yeah, so... Where are we? The architecture of this tomb resembles other dungeons I've seen in the frozen north, dating back to the God Wars. I've, said, I've heard a lot about these God Wars. Distance, 
deep into the icy mountains north of Trollheim, west of the wilderness. Oh, okay. That would explain why it's so cold down here. What are the God Wars? The God Wars here we go. A series of conflicts that marked the Third Age of Gilenor. For four thousand years, the gods battled for control of our world well. and sent forth their followers to die in their names. The battles laid waste to northern Gilenor, leaving only a blighted wilderness where great empires once. Oh, started. is that why world is all like yeah, yeah, okay? Uh, I want to talk about something else. Can you tell us back to the ritual chamber? Oh no, tell me about yourself. Is this... I was born into the sound. Oh, you did all the stuff. Yeah, I am in, yeah, I yeah. Uh -huh. As a junior, I was part of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, know, we know, we know, we know, we know. While my comp ignoring, I readied my bow. Took on the contra. The oh my god, there like should be like another pool skip one, man. Oh no. It grieves me to battle one who get. Oh my god. It grieves me to battle. Um, ritual chamber. I better mission them. Okay. Fly <clears throat> crate it refreshed. You know, it didn't. Just to find it, find nothing of value. Value. I'll be fine. I hope. I'll stand guard here. If I see any more blood. So, if you run back here. Uh, where are we? A buried tomb in the frozen north. There's snow at the surface entrance, so we can't be too deep underground. Who sent Elspeth? Well, how did the country capture you? I was on a pilgrimage from the abbey to Edgeville Monastery when our caravan was ambushed by black knights. This is more like previously on AMC's Kintra. They slaughtered the caravan guards and dragged us back to their fortress. Sister Lara died of infection in their horrible prison. Last week, they brought Sister Esther, Father Magruder, and I up to the captain's quarters and took us through a portal in the attic. They didn't tell us where we are. They just took our things and locked us up in these tiny cages. Probably for sacrifice. The other here. cages are empty. What happened to your companions? I don't know. They've been dragging us through that door to the east one by one. Ah, uh, yeah. They said they'd be back for me if Father Magruder didn't survive. If you hadn't arrived when you did... They must have been using them, like siphoning them maybe? Uh, continue. I overheard them talking about some kind of weapon they found in the tomb. Oh, yeah. The Black Knights know how to breach the... There was a Black Knight in a golden mask, just like yours in fact. He said that they require oh, yeah. blood. Anything else? He said that the blood, blood must be freely giving. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back soon. Oh. All right. Continue. Oh, I've got maximum prayer. Paper bones. Why are they find the God Wars raged for four thousand. There are several such tombs buried beneath Gilenor, but they soon exceeded their capacity. As the death toll rose, they resorted to heaping mounds of bodies in these mortuaries. The Saradominus tombs became charnel pits. Right. The Kinshra have looted the coffins of these ancient warriors of Saradomin. Have they no respect for the dead? Inspect, can I inspect this? The Kinshra have oh, yeah. have they no Um anything else? Serodomus altar, we already prayed. I think that's all. Yeah, it's just going. Fighter, okay. I can't remember too much about Fern, I'll probably have to go back and watch my own VOD. But basically she fought for Therodomen and she had a sister and then yeah it was some some sad stuff. Alright spider. I wonder how we go though with my new upgrades. And now she's testing us basically. Um to see if we're worthy. Oh evil. Welcome buddy, thank you for the uh sub man. Thank you for the resub. Uh, I might have to start eating some fish. Oh wait, my prayers, my prayers. Um, oh no. Um, strength, defense, melee, magic, 
Magic strength. Okay, I'll go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thanks, man. Thanks for the resub, man. Oh, wait. I've got to start using abilities. Nice. 1.7k damage. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. I think we're good, man. Okay, I think we're good. All my prayers on, yes. Oh, wait, I've only got pies left. Join me in death. No, I'm good, thank you. Good, alright. I've only got four pies left. Prayers are on. Oh, wait, let me put this defensive thing on. Did I use it? I think I used it. Oh no, 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 wrong one. Oh no. Okay, nice. Ooh. It grieves me to have battled one who gave her life for Saradomin's cause. But we must complete our mission. The way is open. Let's find this wand before it falls into Zamorak's hands. I don't want it to fall into Zamorak's hands. I hope we have a choice. If it's like, um. What was that game? Fable? I want to go full evil mode, man. I mean, I guess it depends on perspective, right? Who is actually evil? Oh crap, yeah. From the perspective of Caladorians, the Zamorak are evil. Insha, I suppose. Alright, let's go. What a, what was it, I wonder? Inspect Father McCruger. That certainly looks like the one Fern mentioned. Now, how do we get to it? We should carefully explore this area. Oh, it's a puzzle. If it's a puzzle, I'm like, thank God I left. Alright, I would have like lost it because I was like so done last session. Her, eye, her dead eyes are wide and terrified. Her arms have been cut, yet there's no sign of any blood. It's like her wounds were cauterized. Oh, maybe it got siphoned internally. Touch the tile. Take the one. You know what? Straight up, take it. And then see what happened. Hold on, Father Hackett. Almost missed this guy. He looks like he was flung back and struck and struck the statue of some force. His body switches at a torturous angle. The poor man's spine has been snapped. Oh, you know what happened? They used the, the they captured some slaves so they can test them out on, on, on the altar to see if they could you know, like see the defense mechanisms. And so, you know, like test, I guess use them as like test subjects to try and get the uh, wand. I'll just see what happens when I click it. Such a bad idea. We'll have to disable the protective wards before we can claim the wand. Ah, uh, it must be this then. The Owl of Wisdom. Ah, uh, here we go. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. The Nimble Rabbit. A Courageous Lion. A Centaur. Ah, uh, right, it's got a match. The wing of an Icene. I think. A white knight. L and then the L was here, I think. No. Yeah and here. A matching pair. Okay, this is, I think okay, that's all I think it's just matching it up. Uh this is over here, I think. Nice. Um okay, it's not so bad. The graceful unicorn. Okay, Centaur was here, I think. Okay, well, wow, my memory, dude, right now I'm killing it. Our oh, unicorn was over we'll there. have to disable the protective wall. Yeah. But this probably would have taken longer. Anyways, anyways. Carry on. The rabbit was over here. We'll have to disable the yeah, yeah, I know, wall. I know, I know. Man, I love these quests though, like it's got a, it's such a single player. I feel like I'm playing a single player top down game. Rabbit. Like um Neverwinter Nights or something. Doesn't even feel a like star it. Of doesn't even feel like an MMO. Um I think the star would be over here maybe. 
Oh no, that's over here. I think this is over here. Yep. This one was... Lion, I think the lion, was this the star? Maybe it's the lion here. Yep, and star, and star. The last tile snaps into place and the outer ward deactivates. I'm glad that's over. Well done. Only one seal remains. Okay. Maybe that was like the easy peasy puzzle now it's gonna get serious. Breach, blood ward. The sister of St. Elspeth said that this ward requires the blood of one who is virtuous. Am I virtuous? Shall we get go get Dawn and cut her? <laughs> I shall sacrifice my own blood. You may have the honor of breaching the ward, so I want you the Sarodermatist to do it. Only time to think about this. Um, I shall sacrifice my own blood. Your valiance is matched only by your piety. Are you sure you wish to breach the ward with your own blood? If you are not pure of heart, the ward will utterly destroy you. Uh, um, no, that's Sir Owen do it. Well, I don't know if he's... I guess we'll just go, the man. the light of Saradomin shine upon you, my friend. I better not die from this. A cutscene, maybe this is legit. We have to find out. Good or bad ending. Oh. Oh, he took it. Well, wow, he just ninja the freaking one. Dawn. Thank you, my knight in shining armor. Well, facial expressions, yeah, man. RuneScape 3 graphics did. Wow, we got, we just, she just yoinked it, man. Is she like a rogue or something? How is she teleporting? Oh, maybe not. Hurry, my lady. We must not let her escape with the one. Oh, no, I'm not gonna fight her. I'm so not ready for this. I didn't bring enough food and I don't have prayer. Oh god. Thank you for retrieving the wand. You're welcome. With it, I shall raise an unstoppable army of the dead. Okay. That's pretty cool. I knew we were lying from the start. Who was Dawn? Oh, I wasn't. Wow, well, Dawn was the girl at the. Oh my god. I just realized. Dawn was the girl that we. The captured prisoner that we rescued. Well, I just, I just, it just dawned on me, literally, but them dawned. Okay. Anyways, your damsel in distress act didn't fool us. <laughs> I mean, it kind of did. Your damsel in distress, your damsel in distress act didn't fool me. <laughs> um, the one can only be used by the virtuous. The one should stay buried. The one belongs to Saradomian. The one belongs in the museum. The one. Can only be used by the virtuous to restore the souls of the dead to their bodies yes i have little need for self-aware living minions oh no we're gonna fight the living require food rest shelter they're far too high maintenance <laughs> an army of obedient undead warriors will be more than adequate for my needs true don't you know what will happen if you use the wand when Fern took Alora's horn and used it, the risen dead were corrupted. I read Dune yesterday, uh, in, like in preparation for the movie. The undead centaurs turned on Fern and killed her. Yep. I have done my research, you know. The guardian of the wand fell short was it of any good? his virtue. But despite her flaws, there was still a spark of goodness in Fern. Yeah, I watched the movie and it was any good. It is why she still clings to this world, a tortured spirit racked with guilt. The undead she raised hungered to okay, destroy to watch her it. purity and tore her to pieces. I have no such impediment. My heart is as black and foul as my creation. So her argument is, you don't have to be pure. On the contrary, you have to be evil to use it, not pure. The corrupted shall know me as one of their own and obey my will. Okay. I shall use Elora's wand to destroy you, the brave knight and his faithful squire. It does go and end just halfway through the book. You can absolutely tell it's yeah. I mean, that's how they're gonna milk it, dude. 
Um, I mean, I'm not sure if you could fit the entire book in one movie, though. Hey. The great heroine and her faithful sidekick, then. Regardless, your noble quest is at its end. Oh, the hours might even be too short. Oh, well. You have rescued the fair damsel, slain the terrible beast. Man, that low key, deep sound voice is pretty scary. Now oh, no. Oh, we're gonna fight, aren't we? I'm not ready for this. Half my food thing is gone, man. Maybe it's just a cutscene. Also, Owen. Wow, we just pieced out. Wait, wait. Right. No, it's not scary, it's, it's cool. Is what I was trying to say. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm getting owned. Oh, she's raising them. Oh, nice raise. Oh, he's, wait, did he, did he kill her? She killed him, and now he's raised. What the hell is happening with this cutscene? Yeah, this one's fair enough, but am I gonna have to fight Sir Owen? Oh no. Don't do it, Sir Owen. I might have to go pray real quick. We'll save him for last. Oh god. Oh wow. Kinda of getting owned. I don't think this pie is gonna cut it, man. Oh, I definitely not you one out. Thank you. Can you go away, pick so I can see my life help? Oh, I might have to be so. I can't even kill the freaking knight, dude. Can you move out the way so I can? There we go. Yeah. So I want you to stay there. Really? He blocked my special attack. My God. Wow, I can't believe 4k HP. I don't know, man. No, I'm running. No, no way. Oh my god, he's like a truck. Run, run, run. No way. To continue the battle, return to the arena. Yeah, no worries, man. Oh no! Oh no, I can't. No, wait, can I? Can I TP? Oh, I can. Oh my god, this is, this is so anti-climatic. Okay, alright, let's get some food and we'll go right back. That was like the most... I'm not dying though, man. Stop that. So, oh, one, how could you? I thought... Okay, let me put all these dishes in. Um, and get all the fish quickly, quickly, fish, 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 fish. Um, I don't think sardines are going to cut it, man, but I do want to get rid of them. Might be a little embarrassing. Okay, it's fine. Um, is there an altar here somewhere? I need to pray real quick. You know what, stuff it, we'll just pray at the one in the, um, in the whatchamacallit. Can I even go back there? Wait, there should be a, actually wait. There should be an altar here. There has to be an altar at the Sarah Dominus Church for sure. Otherwise, I'm gonna begin questioning the this establishment. Really? There's no altar. Maybe upstairs. Maybe upstairs. I need them buffs, man. Oh no! Oh god! Sorry, sorry, monk. Casually stab the monk, dude. Oh my god, really? There's no altar here? Alright, fine, we'll just go inside. Now, what is this action bar? I mean, it's probably. I should probably just sell the sardines, man, instead of trying to use them. I've got this bad habit where I like. I feel like I have to use it. I should just sell it and use like the proper ones. Um, no. 
Let's just pray real quick. Go, 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 go. I think I can take him, but he hurts, man. Even with, like, steel plus one armor. Oh, wait, no, he's up here. Oh, no, am I sprinting? My way, oh, wrong way, god damn it. Have you seen, um... The new Blade Runner, Evil? 20 something something, the second one, basically. You haven't? Oh, wow, dude. Can you, like, turn off this stream and go watch that and then come back? Just do us both a favor. Oh, wait, I think it was through here, right? Yeah. Nah, man, don't even take the piss, dude. It's amazing. Arguably better than the original. Arguably. Like, I'd argue that. Not that I'm saying that is the case. But I would make that argument. Go and watch it. Wait, is someone else fighting here? Oh no, they're fighting something. Is there an altar here? I, I mean, I don't know. It's actually a pretty challenging fight though, I must say. Oh, it's gonna take me to the fighting room, isn't it? And I walked all that way for nothing. God damn it. Alright, oh, fine. Again? Yeah, maybe I should have prayed. Sardine's gonna do nothing. I might have to bring better food as well. Come on, man. Kick his ass, dude. Get rid of this knight. What happens if I search him? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like smashing through this sardine, man. I can't even kill a normal knight, dude. I've got no chance against Sir Owen. Come on, just... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go back, prayer up, and get some better food. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, in, uh, I'm, un, I'm underestimating these fights. Just die, dude. I'm gonna have to go full over. Okay. Oh no. I gotta feel like there's like a threshold once we get to it, it's just gonna like stop. The proper challenge though, man. I might, I might not be ready for this. I think if I get better food, maybe. With prayers, I can probably do it. Okay, we're kind of doing some damage. If I can get like a nice crit in from my overpower, it's doable. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oof. That, that, oh, that overthrow and power saved my life. Say a prayer to... Oh, he died though, man. We killed him. Say a prayer to ease his passing. Compose an eulogy for... You loot his... Yeah, I'm gonna loot his corpse. Um, you carefully search the lifeless body of Sir Owen. The blade of his sword is broken, but he's carrying a shield. Uh, sure, yes. You pick up Sir Owen's Sunday shield. Um, say a prayer. Um... Oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Lord Zamorak. Lord Zamorak, bring up chaos and file of invention. Without chaos, life stagnates. Let me be owned. Let me be owned by the obstacles you place in my path. Grant me the strength to succeed where his follower of Saradoman, where the follower of Saradoman failed. Wow, lol. I don't know what. Uh, do I just go back to Saradoman? I must open the trapping me in the ear. Okay, I guess we go back. Take that shield though, and smelt it, sell it for profit, like a true Zemarokian, like a true warrior of the Kinshra. And then maybe they might accept me into their ranks. Man, that's totally like a way to get in, like, you defeated 
Because he was a thing knight. He was a was it a temple knight? Like higher rank? That's how accept me after that. I would. I'd accept me. Um you have been rewarded on for opening the oh, okay. Nice. Alright, let's let's pray up dude. Oh man, I've got no HP. There better be no more fights. Oh no! Did I skip the cutscene? I think I did, man. I freaking hate this. Did it. Again! What's happening? Did it. Oh, okay, wait, it's just. Why is it bugging out though? Did it hurt to murder your huh. comrade? Uh not really. Or did you destroy him without hesitation? <coughs> is he nothing more than an evil, dead thing to you now? Let's see how well you fare without your brain. Oh no! Wow, she look AoE attacks. Can I pray real quick? You cannot hide forever. I, I pray, but there's no way. Oh no, run, 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 run. Oh no, can I? Oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm so. No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Come please out don't. and play. No, 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 I don't want to play, I don't want to play. I'll be back, I'll be back, I promise. Let me just. Oh no. Can I exit? Please tell me I can exit. Oh, thank God. Starting it so close there. Oh my goodness. Alright, let me... I'll be back, lady. I'll be right back. I'm gonna bring some proper food this time. Wait, what is this? Did she debuff me? You have a prayer active draining your... Oh, whoops. Yeah, sorry. Right. I think she does magic damage though, so maybe we put on magic. Sh is it magic defense? No, there isn't. Okay, let's um. I'm gonna keep the shield for now. Let's put. Let's. You know what? Let's just take the tuna, man. Stop wasting time. Seven fifty a piece. Should be enough. And then we've got the prayers up. Uh, yeah, it should be enough. 249 should be enough. We'll just pump out. Um, restore rate. So this one, defense rating, melee strength, attack. That's ranged. That's magic strength. All right, so basically one, two, three, and four. Defense, melee strength. Maybe I am a little under, under geared slash under level for this boss, man. Oh wait, she does magic damage. Maybe I should have put my rain. Oh, and whatever, you know, it's too late. I don't care. Oh, I'm such an idiot, guys. I just realized I've been wearing the wrong gear this entire time. Oh my god. I've been wearing. I forgot you can change it once you're inside. I did this entire fight with... Oh my god. This is what happens when you're half asleep, guys. Or sleep deprived, I should say. Story of my life. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, whoops, no. What are you doing? You cannot hide forever. Prayer. I get a little bit of prey in here, though, when you think about it. This is, I can't believe I did the entire Sir Owen fight away from me. with mm, like no armor, basically. You guys watching at home must be like face palming so hard right now. I would be. I think I got this. Be gone! Be gone, my ass! I just did my attack, dude. Yeah, we get infinite prayer though, I'm pretty sure, for this fight, on the bright side. I can't believe, man. I can't believe I've been this entire time. I probably would have had it. It probably would have been fine then. I might not have, have even. Oh no. I might not have even had to use. Anyways, whatever, it's done. The sun is done, move on. Nice. 
Come out and play. Can I just like pray real quick when it's about to run out? Oh nice, easy. Imagine doing this without any of my gear on. Like all these fights and stuff. Get rid of the ads first and then we can fight her. Or maybe it's better to Probably move out of this. Instead of just tanking it like an idiot. Okay, do a quick pray, quick pray. Amen, I amen. Destroy you myself. Amen, amen. Yep, right, two, two, two. Go away. Oh, she does it right as I use my main ability, man. That's so frustrating. Can you not? Can you wait till after I do it? This? Die. No, not me, thank you. Now it's starting to look like a fight. Get away from me! Yeah, at least you did it now. I'm gonna sell those fishes, man, after. That way it will prevent me from using it. No, no, run, move, move, move. Okay, watch. I'm gonna wait till she does the push and then I'm gonna use my ulti. Or my overpower. Nice crit. You like that crit, don't you? Okay, now we use it, now we use it. That's the, that's the play, that's the play. Go, 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 go. Curse you. Of course she dodges it, or blocks it. That's my prayer. Okay, we're good. You shall live again. There's some fish there. Yeah, Tune is definitely the way to go, man. Pierce their noble heart. Guardian is definitely not a good idea. I'll sell all the junk food, man. Yeah, I'm getting through these guys pretty quickly. Oh no, my prayer's almost. Hold on. Amen, 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 amen. Are you afraid of me? No, I actually want to fight you, but you made me fight these skeletons. I kind of do want to fight you. I mean, I do want to fight you. What am I mean? What am I saying? Kinda. Face me, coward. Yeah, I'd like to, but you've got these stupid ads. You're making me deal with right now. Get away from me! I'm not even. The one is starting to get on my nerves. All right, let's fight you now. If you want something done right, be gone. If you want something right, done right, be gone. Get back! The effects are pretty cool though. Not bad. I'm kind of I mean, not too shabby. Die. Oh no! Oh no! Get out of that purple mist. Go away. Might as well pray since I'm here. Amen. 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 Suffer. Nice. That one hit. That does so much damage when you land it. Oh no! She's force choking me. Oh no. Rise from your grave. Really, man? Can I just attack her anyways? No, you can't. Okay, yeah, you kind of have to hit the mobs. You cannot defeat my magic. Should be the last wave, though. Get away from me. Oh my god, man. Yeah, the tuna was definitely... Oh no, why did you use it on that? Anyways. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Alright. Yeah. Get back! Witness my full power! Yeah, this tuna's legit, Go dude. Away! Here you might have done. Curse you. Oh no, that that, pur that purple mist hurts. Die. 
Almost, almost. Okay, if I if I land this crit, she dies. For sure. Okay, close, close. Hold on, let me aim in real quick. My father who art in heaven. Amen, amen, amen. Alright. Get back! Yeah, you're dead now. You're dead. You're dead now. You're only delaying the inevitable. There we go. Forgive me, Lord Zamorak, I failed you. Uh, you pry the wand of resurrection from Dawn's lifeless hand. You also find a small arm marked silver key in Dawn's body. Is this for the book, I think? Finally, you find the bleached human skull on Dawn's body. Well, well done. you have the wand. If we hurry, we can restore Sir Owen to life. But I don't want to restore Sir Owen to life. I don't want to. Re no, I'm kidding. Alright. <laughs> In the other room. Oh wait, let's look into these items first. Use no. Use this key on here. Slide the key you found on the dawn's body into the journal's keyhole. It fits perfectly, and the clasp snaps open. Cool. <coughs> you gaze into the em empty eye sockets of the enchanted human skull. A magical fl force floods your mind, sharpening your memories. You remember key events of your adventure with perfect clarity. Oh, wait, Sarah. Are these all the cutscenes, maybe? Yeah, it is. Can I not skip this? Oh, no. I can't escape, nothing. Please cancel. Oh, okay, maybe you can. Alright, cool. Oh, nice, nice. Alright, okay, we'll keep, hold on to that skull then. And what's in the book? Wait, which one was it? This one? This was the book, right? Captain Dalton's journal. Which one, This was the history. We read this one. Wait, let me just draw. Here around the valley. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, Alright, we've got a new book to read, boys. Uh, Captain Dalton's journal. Index, Knights and Swap Ayat. The Pursuit of Purity. Oh, these are all. Okay, on them. Oh, wow, it's going to be a long read. Um, let me move over here so I don't accidentally click the door. It'll be a long road. Okay, Cap Captain Dalton's Journal. Knights and Serpents. Yep, yeah, alright. Knights and Serpents. Today we ambushed a troop of patrolling white knights. The spoils were mediocre, but they provide a fine sport. Note to self, keep an eye on Marius. His sermons have been downright factuous of late. He has a silver tongue and a mind like a serpent. Kinsha warriors, the quality of available recruits is in sorry decline. A, f a female mage saw audience with me this morning and wished to enlist. This must be Dawn. I turned her away in disgust. Lord Shawal would not have sullied his Kinsha forces with weak wizards and bearers of children. Oh well. The young lord... The Quarius may have little concern for the founding father of the Kinsha, but I shall not stray from the old ways of my ancestor. If you have not if you have not mastered of the blade and the strength to wield it, you will no have you will have no place in my domain. Precious Mithril, this is a glorious day. Through many though many of my worries fell in battle, I dealt the killing blow and, and brought home the beast's head. With the taxidermist has when the taxidermist has done his job, I shall add a Mithril Dragon to my collection. Man, imagine being able to read. Um, our secret weapon. I have received correspondence from Lord Aquarius. His scribes have finally decoded the coordinates in the holy book we stole from the White Knights during the Siege of Falador. We have long known that Saradoma buried a powerful necromantic weapon in the frozen north, but now we can get our hands on it. With his artifact, the, the Kinshra can reclaim Falador and obliterate the White Knights. Practical magic. Against my better judgment, I fire the services of a witch to recover the weapon. She comes highly recommended by Lord Aquarius. She's as repugnant as I expected and has taken up residence in the disused attic tower. Using the coordinates from the holy book, the witch has managed to scry the location of the tomb. We shall establish a foothold at the, at the periphery and send in troops to investigate. The, the tomb of Sarah Doman. 
The witch has completed a ghastly ritual and established a teleportation link to the tomb. We have set up camp and my men have begun to explore the crypt. Among the bodies we have found various oddities, but no sign of the artifact. If Dequarius has sent us on a wild goose chase, I'll mount his head on my wall. Equinox. The slaves have excavated a secondary corridor on the crypt. Ah, oh, they use the slaves to... Ah, oh, okay, wow. Um, the king has awoken a four-legged spectre who tore them apart in a sanctimonious fury. This must be the fern. Though many Kinshra fell in battle, we were eventually able to vanquish the undead beast, at least for a time. Deeper in the chamber, we discovered the artifact, the horn of some animal, suspended in a beam of magical energy. It was guarded by a tiresome trivial mechanism which the witch dispatched with ease. A small setback. Our outer ward fell, but a crimson field still surrounded the weapon. I had the good sen sense to send one of my men to reach through the magical barrier. His screams echoed through the cavern as the blood boiled in his veins. When he fell, his, arms, his arm was reduced to a plain stump. After casting the recruit's body into the chasm, we withdrew to the campsite to rest from our labours and plan our next action. Eternal Spirit When we returned the following morning, the dead centaur was waiting for us. It seems that we can only dispatch her for a short time before she manifests once again. The spirit prattled on about judgment and purity as she crushed my men before her spectral hooves. Yes, yeah, definitely firm. How can we kill the dead? Session, Lord Aquarius, I am delighted to report that I have taken Captain Dalston's place as we agreed. Lord Shadwell's lineage has ended here, and with it the stubborn antiquities, antiquities of Dalston's leadership. The Black Knights need a re real leader, not a boorish ape like him, and I am your... And I am delighted to act on your behalf. Zemarok teaches us that the strongest leaders are born in chaos. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to prove my worth. When I have claimed Elora's wand, I'll send this journal along to you so you can fully appreciate Dalson's former misdeeds. Bleached bones. I must admit, I enjoyed watch I enjoyed watching Dalson die. Wait, aren't I? Ah, as the poison withered his beloved muscles. Oh, those bones must have been. Dalson's under the bed. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, as the poison withered his beloved muscles and strained his oh-so-handsome jaw, I watched the life ebb from his terrified eyes. It, it amused me to see him so diminished, weakened by a mere woman. With a concoction provided by mother and that filthy crone, it was a simple matter to melt the flesh from his bones. Yeah, it was. Dalson's armor, armored robes fit me surprisingly well, and the ceremonial mask makes a perfect disguise. So far, the Fortress Knights have noticed nothing amiss. So who was this? so who was acting as Dulcin then? Do we know? Rest for the wicked. It's a relief to sleep in a proper bed after squatting in Dulcin's attic. Unless, wait, is this the, um, I think this is Dawn. I rest upon the bones of my predecessor to draw upon his power and identity. Perhaps I'll use, find a use for that skull of his too. It would be fitting since the brute made so little of his head in life, lol. The Pursuit of Purity. Dalson failed to understand it is blood that matters. To defeat the guardian spirit merely requires might and fervor, but the blood of the virtuous is the key. I have sent out raiding parties to hunt down and capture Saradoman's followers. Surely among them is one with the purity of heart to breach the ward of blood. Willing sacrifice. The search for a virtuous soul among Saradoman's brood has proved more difficult than I anticipated. The prison is all but empty. All have died screaming as they have made the sacrifice. It seems that we cannot force their hand. The blood of the virtuous cannot be stolen from the unwilling. We need a true hero. Dawn of the Dead. My lord, your spy within the Temple Knights has sent me wondrous news. Saradaman himself is seeking the bond and has sent two of his most resourceful warriors to claim it on his behalf. Other thus, Saradaman seeks to infiltrate my, the fortress and use my own portal to travel to the tomb in... Secret. A bold move. It is time to prepare the trap. I shall lie wait, disguised in the robes of one of the sacrificed sisters of St. Elspeth. I have left the note ostensibly... Wow, what does that even mean? Ost I'd like to Google that. Ost ostensibly from Captain Dulson. With a few of his men so that they will come and watch over the prisoner. The time of my ascension is at hand. When next we meet, the wand of resurrection shall be ours. The Kintra shall reclaim the kingdom of Asgarni for a... Lord Zamorak, strength through chaos, Lensig. Man, that's so, there's so much lore in one quest. Oh my god. 
Hey, hey, what's up? You weak AF, yeah, man. Um, I had to go back twice to fight freaking Dawn. Bro, I think you were the only one who read that ever. Maybe. But it's fun, man. Like, there's actually a lot of juice um, in these quests. A lot of juicy juice you can squeeze. But, uh, Buna Kumesh, man. Buna Kumesh. Buna Kumesh? Yeah, I think that was right. Um... Hold on, let me one we done with we read the journal the skull this this must be uh, so this must be Dalson's head then I think maybe um shield history grimoire okay cool we're good um sorrow and spirit is fading we have little time please yeah, meanwhile I'm reading a journal <laughs> him to life. man needs man needs life please give me the one no, okay um Man, I can't remember how to respond, bro. I'm half asleep as well. All I can remember today was Bonakomesh. We'll have to continue this uh, uh, Romanian language learning another day, perhaps, when I have some sleep. Um, when you just come back to the zombie again, he has suffered enough. Let him rest in peace. I don't think I can trust if the one's power. I've made my decision. I need. To, I, mean, I think I don't. I don't think I can trust if the one's power. You are wise to be cautious of me. I have done many questionable things. But how have you, how have you been, man? What you been up to? I do what is necessary to protect my people, that they might live a life of virtue. I don't like you, Sarah Damon. You look like a bit of an idiot, man. Possible that the wand will not judge he kind of looks like that actor from um, Hellboy, the original Hellboy. Yet, I must take the risk. Anyone else? For Rowan's sake. Uh, making, money making? Ah, oh, yeah. Like in, in RuneScape? Aren't you working at the moment? Uh, yes, I'll let him rest. Sir Owen has the potential to do great deeds in my name. He has dedicated his life to me. Okay. Sir Owen has much work left to do. I cannot squander It's 4.48 a.m. Okay, what are you doing up, man? Why, why aren't you in bed? Uh, I've made my decision. I will use the wand to resurrect Sir Owen. I will give you the wand. No, you cannot have the wand. I will destroy the wand. I will destroy the wand. No. Yeah. Wait. You can retrieve it from Dawn's body via the. Wait, is this part of the quest? Where is the wand of resurrection? Oh wait, did I just waste my own time? God oh, damn it! I thought it was like law. I thought I could, you know, go to the bad side or something. I have a different ending, like a bad ending. I don't know. Yeah, you and me both, man. I try so hard to get my sleep on schedule, but it always goes back, reverts back to its older ways. Yeah, there goes. I, I guess we we'll just give it to him then, man. Then why give us that option? God oh, damn you, Runescape. I totally want to go like evil ending, man. Team, 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 Kintra over here. Take your stupid so one. one spirit is pleased. Uh, I need a. Uh, the spark of uh, made my decision. Uh, no, you cannot have the you wand. Dare defy a god. Yeah. I shall not be denied. Oh, okay. Here we go. Unless I'm gonna die now. The wand now. I knew the Sarah Demon was a piece of shit. Excuse the language. Sorry. That smirk, man. He's gonna use him as a warrior, as like his own undead warrior. I reckon. Yeah, he only wanted him because he was strong and he could still use him for his own objectives. What have I done? Yeah, exactly. I shouldn't have used the wand in anger. Got baited, dude. I have contaminated Sir Owen's mind and body. Yeah, good job. Might as well just join the Kintra. If I had raised him, this would not have happened. You are probably right. Yeah, God of light my ass, dude. I was too eager to bring Sir Owen back. I needed him too much to let death take Yeah, him. needed. Now, all is lost. Though he lives and breathes, the darkness has claimed him. 
Uh, what has happened to Sir he Owen? corrupted like the centaurs before him. Oh, uh, yeah. A creature consumed with the desire to destroy purity. Yeah, good job. I wonder whose fault that was. There is hope, my lord. My arm is cold and skeletal, yet I can still control it. I can sense the virtue in you, my friend. The purity of heart that allowed you to claim the wand. It is like a white-hot fire searing my senses. I yearn to snuff out that light, but I can resist this temptation. Oh, yeah? I will not allow the corruption to consume me. You say that now. No, Sir Owen. You have suffered enough. You may feel you are in control of yourself, but the corruption will consume you in time. I must relieve you from your service to me. You cannot remain a Temple Knight. I cannot endanger my people by bringing you into their midst. Man, this Sardaman, he, he literally, all, he, like, he resurrected him, he made the mistake, and then he literally made him useless to himself and to everyone else. You proved yourself worthy to I hate this Sardaman. I'm so Team Kinshra, man. I had hoped that I could persuade you to restore the Centaur race. Only Gothics is good. I mean, I have yet to learn or interact with Gothics. Um, why would you want to resurrect the Centaur? So that's why you sent us here. To add more troops to your army, no doubt. You speak of war as if it's something I enjoy. Oh, well, obviously it is. Gilanor is a precious jewel in the looted treasury of the Cosmos. Yeah, and you want that precious jewel for yourself. I will not deceive you. I have need of allies in the troubled times <coughs> ahead. Yeah, sure. Since the Elder Gods brought this world into being, it has been beset on all sides by selfish forces hungering to tear it asunder. Uh -huh. War is here. The Edicts of Guthics have fallen. If we do not fight back against the Tide of Darkness, my people Man, will have you looked in the mirror? You are the darkness. I seek only to protect this world from outsiders. Ah, oh, such that BS, you, dude. I feel like I'm listening to a politician on, or, you know, a government official on, like, the news channel. Saradomin speaks the truth. What? Fern, surely. Fern, I thought we killed you. The centaurs don't even come from Gilnor. Why fight for it? You would resurrect the centaurs only for them to die fighting. Um... If it were in my power, I would give each centaur the option to return to the Enchanted Valley. Uh, maybe there are Quaker man. Remember what I said, it gets worse. Yeah, he's, he's ac he actually is annoying. Only Saradomin oh, seeks been... to maintain order. Only Saradomin seeks to... to fight to preserve Only Saradomin seeks to maintain order. We have to fight? Nah. I don't think so. Um, Saradomin's a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe too, man. Are you at work, Zarak? I stream muted, but Armadil is decent. Zamrock isn't evil, he's just chaotic. Bandos is. Okay, kind of gave a quick summary. So far, I'm Team Kinshra. My lord, I have sought to purge evil from this world. So far, Team Zamrock over here. Uh, my lord, I have sought to purge evil from this world. I have stood by my principles and followed the code you taught me. I'll go to work in 30 minutes. Ah, okay. Let me prove that I can overcome the darkness within me. I shall travel to the Centaur burial ground and use the one to restore the Centaur race. Well, do not forget it was she, not Sir Owen, who passed. It's fine though. As we, as we play the game, as we do the quests, I'm sure more of the the factions and the gods and all that lore is gonna unveil itself to me. So I'll probably get a clearer picture as I play the game and do like all the members quests and stuff. She should lead the expedition. Maybe get like perspective, you know, like a different point of view. Very well. Sir Owen, take time to gather supplies for all of you. We shall cautiously prepare for the journey ahead. Get out of my face, Sir Owen. If Sir Owen is still sound of mind when next we meet, I shall relinquish the wand. We need to replace you with someone else. Like, the faction is fine. The, Sar the whole Sar 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 Domen, like the idea, the faction, it's all good, but we've got to replace this guy. As you wish, my lord. Oh, and milady, about my shield. Yeah, nah, I'm, like, I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh, by the way, welcome to the stream, Jason, man. Sorry. Welcome, welcome. Keep it with my blessing. No, I'm gonna literally nah, gonna give it back. I'm gonna give it to the Kinshra. Now let's discuss your reward. Um, 
Boundos is dead, Sarah Diamond is cocky AF, Zaros is, uh-huh, is Saren is mummy, sorry mummy, I got you. Most of the gods are hidden behind an endgame quest, like, like, like Siskis endgame. That's fine, we'll get there eventually. I, I mean, the quests are so good in this game, I plan on finishing every single quest in the game. Like, it's a bit ambitious, but I'm down. You guys are down. Bravely. And save Sir Owen from a fate worse than death. I mean, I'm not gonna grind for the rest of the game. This, I'm definitely gonna play the quest, man. It, it, like I said, it feels like a single player game. I feel like I'm playing a single player game with like really good quest and story right now. Um, if we're bravely and save Sir Owen from a fate worse than death, with your permission, what do you mean? The guy's like undead. You to Edgeville Monastery. Sure. Um, yeah, I think we're done. Yeah, yeah, he's teleporting me to Edgeville Monastery. Where's my reward though? Oh, here we go. Three quest points, 250 XP, 500 Black Knight. Oh, wait, hold on. Black Knight Captain Armor Cosmetic. Oh, sick. Access to 2500 coins, elements and shield, the skull of remembrance, and elemental runes. Four knight titles. I built a replant to Edgeville Cabbage, patch for. Access to Temple, Templar Cosmetic Override. Oh wow, some nice cosmetics in the Tower and Crypt. Access to Lamp. Damn, dude! A lot of stuff. 